Hey Rockhounds, Durman here with another special report. Rockhound rock hazards can be dangerous but avoidable with basic safety awareness and common sense. Poison ivy, <laughs> poisonous snakes, <laughs> bees and insects. But there's another rockhound rock hazard that common sense nor any of your senses will save you from. Just mention the term radioactive and most people will think of this. Or here in Pennsylvania, they'll think of this. Or maybe even this. But there are other sources of radiation in our environment, like radon in houses. And here, the Sherman Creek member of the Catskill Formation. Today, I'm at Shakelemy State Park, site of where the western and the northern branches of the Susquehanna River come together to meet up with the legend, the middle Susquehanna River keeper, John Zaktansky, and the crazy scientist, Doug Fessler, after they told me about a radioactive cave here at the park. So I said, I'll be there Sunday. This rock formed as uranium-enriched water settled in muddy sediment, eventually hardening into the rock we see today, which is still emitting radiation after 360 million years. Oh yeah, we're getting hotter. 678, we're all gonna die! Oh no! But before you go all hazard suit, 600 CPM is considered dangerous. But unless you're planning on moving into this cave, you're probably gonna be fine. Just call it nature's microwave. Just takes a couple years to cook. So how'd you all first find this place? What made you bring a meter out here? Oh boy, it goes back a little bit. Uh, when I was young, I actually found this place because when you drive up here, you see a cave. So I knew it was here. Um, and my, my uncle, uh, Frank Zerbe, he, he said, hey man, you wanna be careful. There's radioactive material there. And I didn't think anything of it. So, and that's back by when I was uh, on our pilot 20. Um, so here's a pass, and this year I finally broke down and bought a, a Geiger counter. And uh, They are expensive. Yeah, I got to thinking about the story my uncle pulled right, and I'm like, I wonder, and I came over here, and sure enough, um, yeah, it's, it's going nuts. It's going, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Doug alerted me to, you know, this view here along the edge of the river. This is at the point where the north of us just converge into the main stem of the Susquehanna set. Always concerned about what issues or concerns might be lurking in our waterways. Any kind of an issue or concern of, of water quality is something we, we look into and very curious to see what this means as far as the bigger scope of things. Absolutely, absolutely. So we got to work and found some very interesting things, like this cave flower that survived weathering on the cliff face. And inside the cave, this copper or malachite deposit. Both are found here and fallen from the cave roof. So these are the fern fossils from this formation. Very nice fossils, but surprisingly, they're not showing much radiation beyond background. Everything seems to be contained to these more messed up and broken up layers. There are these sections that have definitely been compressed a lot more. And that's where we're getting the higher readings. Showing the difference here, this is 31 on this side of the rock and just on this side, we're off the charts at 530. So really what we're finding is such a narrow zone of active radiation, there isn't much danger to the surrounding environment. Even the center of this cave reads only slightly higher than my living room at 47 CPM. Still considered safe background level. So the next time you're exploring a new area, consider some kind of detector, just in case. I'm Dirtman. I'm John. And I'm Doug. Bringing the geology to you from here in the middle Susquehanna. Back to you, Jerry.